Hey everybody, Bo Hoosh here, the casual expert speaking for Photo Deox Pro. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about GoPro, the news that I learned right here in Cologne, Germany at uh, Photokina 2016. GoPro just announced a bunch of new stuff, the GoPro Hero 5 Black, the Hero 5 Session, and the Karma, which they don't want you to call a drone, uh, they want you to call it something like an experience system. Well, bless their hearts. It's pretty easy to find some information about the new cameras online, but there's a lot that folks are going to miss, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, chief and number one among them is that the sensor in the Hero 5 Black and the Hero 5 Session is the same as the Hero 4 Black. Uh, that's important because if you're riding high on your Hero 4 Black, you don't need to feel obliged to get rid of it. The uh, image quality is going to be the same. Now there are a few differences, like the Hero 5 Session only takes 10 megapixel pictures, whereas the Hero 5 Black takes 12 megapixel pictures. But if you're talking video, it's all going to be the same thing. When uh, GoPro is talking about the Hero 5 Session, they do seem to use language like we learned our lesson from the first session. Uh, if you'll remember, I made a video a while ago really taking apart what the Hero 4 Session offered. And uh, at that point, it wasn't a good value for your money, and they immediately dropped like 200 bucks off the price. So they're determined not to have the same thing happen this time. Now, personally, I'm happy about this news because I have a modify. I have a couple modified GoPros, and they're Hero 4 Blacks. And I'm glad I don't feel the pressure to run out and replace them because uh, there's nothing better on the market today. All indications are that the Hero 5 Black is the same form factor, more or less, as the prior Heroes. That means all of our mounting accessories work. That's for sure. Uh, the filter system, the Wonder Panna Go, we might have to do a little experimenting with that, but it really looks like it's going to go. And from the word is at the GoPro booth that that front bezel part we rely on is the same. So we should be all right to go. The only thing we'll have to remake is the shark cage. Now the Hero 5 Black does offer a bunch of compelling features, even if the image quality is the same as the last generation of cameras. You've got a better microphone, you've got a water waterproof casing uh, without having to have a dive housing. You've got um, image stabilization. Now, you'll want to look this up online, but image stabilization only works in certain, uh, in certain image resolutions. It doesn't work with uh, all image resolutions. Frame rates, I believe it works with a large number of the frame rates, but resolution, you're going to have to be careful. Like, I don't think in 4K you get image stabilization. Another big feature that GoPro is pushing is the voice activation. Uh, you can just sort of shout at your camera and it'll take pictures, it'll shoot video, whatever. They also showed me an accessory, it's like a wrist mounted microphone. And uh, you know, that's for when you're further away from the camera and you can still control it. But I believe they said it's also just a microphone microphone. So if you want to have nice clear audio from where you are, instead of back where the camera is, you can use this wrist thing as a, as a nice mic. That's a pretty cool idea. I think the main thing that makes the Hero 5 family interesting is all of this software and the cloud access that GoPro gives you. Uh, the idea is once you shoot with the camera, you plug it into Recharge, you're immediately uploading your footage to the cloud. And uh, that footage is now available to your phone apps and your various, the various software they give you for free, including kind of automated editing so that you can create a highlight clip reel without really having to touch anything. Uh, so that's kind of cool, and that's, that's part of the promise of the new Hero 5. So that's my look at the Hero 5 camera family. Uh, I think there are exciting times to come. Uh, it doesn't bother me that they're using, you know, last-gen video imaging, because the Hero 4 Black is no slouch. That's an amazing camera. Making it simpler to use and having all this kind of automated stuff that they include with the purchase price of the camera, um, those are great ideas. And making it more compact and waterproof right out of the package couldn't be better. And improving the microphones, great idea. So thumbs up on the new Hero 5 Black uh, and the Hero 5 Session. Those seem like a really good one-two punch, nice simple product line. And of course at Photo Deox, we're going to support both of those cameras. And uh, oh boy, I hope we come up with something cool for the Karma. I think maybe we have something in mind already. You'll have to see. All right, folks, this is Bohush signing off from Photokina 2016. Keep watching this week for more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.